In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to create a full image backup of your computer to an external USB hard disk drive using Backup Assist system protection. This will allow for a full recovery of your entire system in the case of system failure, or the restore or individual files in the case of accidental deletion. The portability of external drives allows for you to rotate your media and transport it off-site for security. To follow this video, it'll be handy to have at least one of your external hard drives connected to the system. So, let's begin. In this example, the computer is running Microsoft Hyper-V server. Should your computer be a physical Windows server or a desktop, it should work the same. The first step is to launch Backup Assist. You're presented with the home page. On the Backup tab, click Create a new backup job. Then click System Protection button to start the System Protection Wizard. This option will create an image of your system that can be used to perform a full recovery of your computer. If this is the first time you have created a job, you will be asked to provide a backup user. Why is that? That's because backup jobs by their very nature require a Windows user account with permission to read the data sources and full read-write access to the backup destination. Should your account not have sufficient permission, the backup job will not complete successfully. I've already got an account called Backup User set up, so I'll just fill it in. If you don't have a backup user and you're more interested to complete this setup process, select Use Your Local System Login, which just uses a built-in system account. Just bear in mind it normally has restricted permissions levels, which could cause your backups to fail. Click the Next button. Click the OK button to complete. Critical Volumes is selected by default and required for a bare metal backup. A bare metal backup can be used to recover your computer after hardware has been replaced or an operating system failure has occurred and your computer can no longer start itself. There is also the option to back up other data volumes. If business applications such as Hyper-V, Exchange, or SQL Server are present on your server, this will also show up here. We'll use the default and recommended full VSS mode and click Next. Click on the external disk icon. Note that we will not be using it in this video, but if you need to have your external hard disk drive encrypted, you would need to check the box for BitLocker encryption. This process is quicker when using a blank external USB hard disk drive. The data container option is not recommended for external drives because it was created for backups stored on network locations and RDX drive. Click the Next button. You will need to select the scheme that best fits your needs. For this video, we will be using a daily rotating schedule. It's quite a standard backup scheme that automatically runs the backup once a day from Monday to Friday. The default time is 10 p.m. You can change that here. If you want to change the days your backup runs, then you will need to edit the job after this wizard completes. Now that we've completed the backup schedule, let's proceed to set up the backup destination. Click Next. From the drop-down box, choose the right drive letter that maps to your external USB hard disk. In this setup, we're alternating each day's backups between two external hard disks media. This way, if one of them suffers a mechanical disk failure, we still have another working backup media we can use to restore or recover from. The portability of external drives allows for one of them to be transported off-site for security. We recommend that you leave all the other settings as the default. Click Next to prepare your external USB hard drive for backup. Your external USB hard disk drive is your backup media. Click on the Prepare button to digitally label your first external hard disk drive with Daily 1 name. A green tick shows that the process has been completed successfully. And repeat this process for the second external hard disk drive. If you do not have all of the drives available now, it's not a problem. You can prepare the drives later by editing the job and click Prepare from the top action bar. Click Next to complete your media preparation. Give the job a meaningful name. Verify the settings look correct. Crypto Safeguard is designed to toughen your backups against crypto-based ransomware. If it's not already enabled, click on Configure and check the box. Enter your mobile number should you wish to receive SMS notifications for potential ransomware alerts. Then click OK button to save. Then click Next. The Recover Assist Builder lets you create a standalone, bootable recovery media that can be stored on a CD or a USB thumb drive. 
This CD or thumb drive helps you start the computer system when it can no longer start itself after a hardware or an operating system failure. Once started, Recover Assist allows you to use your system protection backup to recover your computer to its last good state. You can launch it here or from the Recover tab on the left panel. Click Finish. Congratulations! You have now successfully created your system protection backup to an external USB hard drive. If you have any questions, please email support at backupassist.com or visit our online help portal. Thank you for watching a Backup Assist instructional video.